In software development, we often talk about the cost of a bug, and it's generally a given that the later in the development life cycle uh, that you find a bug, the more costly it is to fix that bug. Right, so if I'm writing code and I can spot a bug, I can fix it right then and let it go through the rest of the development life cycle of, of testing and deployment into production. Uh, bugs or defects in production uh, have a higher cost to them. One is, uh, you know, if your customer doesn't like it or the software is not performing, you may lose that customer, and, and that's definitely not good. But um, then the the cost of the everybody reporting that bug and tracking it and back down to the uh, to software development and fixing that bug, you know, tracing it to where the orig origins of it is and fixing it and then going through the whole test cycle again, that adds up. Um, so there's a lot of effort to find and fix bugs earlier in the life cycle than later in the life cycle. Um, but we've you know, one of the things I've learned is that this, this doesn't just apply to uh, software development. There's probably a lot of different uh, things uh, that it can apply to, whether you're um, building an automobile or, you know, one of the latest discussions we had at work is... Uh, houses. Um, two of the guys I work with have new houses and uh, just things have gone wrong and, and it's costing the builder a lot of money to fix these things and, and as we were talking it, it came down to you know a little bit of quality control up front right if somebody would have checked what was ordered compared to what was delivered and make sure those two items match up rather than just installing it they wouldn't have to rip out the old stuff and, and put in the new stuff so uh, l the later in the cycle you find something the more costly it is and it uh, kind of happened to us uh, today we we're having a new sliding glass door installed in our house and the wrong door shows up and of course it wasn't discovered until the old door was taken out and the new one was starting to go in so where in the process it broke down, I don't exactly know, but uh, at some point I get the feeling that if somebody would have checked what was ordered, because we compared what we ordered and we knew what we ordered and what we got is definitely not the same. So um, again, if somebody would have checked what we ordered compared to what either they were picking up or what got delivered to the warehouse or whatever, couple minute check would have saved an all day effort in putting the new one in and now somebody has to come back take this the new one out to put the correct one in so quality control couple minutes up front and yeah it may seem like you know routine or whatever but a, a couple minutes can save hours and dollars and it's just worth it worth it to do quality control up up front so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with a time-lapse of the wrong door being installed in our house so enjoy I'll talk to you tomorrow
Thank you.